so here we are going to discuss energy conservation in compressor again uh, before starting with the point you have to go through the video which is uh, the link is given given in the description that how compressor work that video will uh, make your concepts clear that how the compressor suck the air how by reducing the volume we can increase the pressure and which type of mechanism is used to uh, for suction for creating the pressure and everything so the word compressor is quite familiar to you wherever we required pressurized air we use compressor for example we can take a vacuum cleaner in vacuum cleaner also we are using compressor right uh, over there the actual working is for suction but also for suction uh, we are creating or uh, we are uh, means the use of compressor as a suction uh, pump or we can say a suction mechanism is used in vacuum cleaner then whenever you are uh, going to fill air in your uh, vehicles over there also we use compressor a very high pressurized air is filled inside the uh, tires or tubes of our vehicle so my request is before going uh, with this our video please go through the video of how the compressor work means uh, after watching that video the concept of impeller diffuser flow direction casing casing means the outer structure these all components will get more clear fine so we will start with the point how we can conserve energy so first point ensure air intake to compressor is not warm and humid by locating compressor in well ventilated area or by drawing cold air from outside first of all uh, the point should be clear in your mind where we are using compressor right hence uh, i just told you uh, for our air filling in vehicles we use compressor but in day to day life uh, for air conditions for refrigeration systems so air conditioner system and refrigeration system are the most widely used system and over there everything the base is or what you can say the key uh, the heart of the system is compressor because it uh, it is the device which is circulating the air you will observe one thing um, the back side of refrigerator the bottom side there is a compressor and if you just uh, put your hand at that uh, location what will you observe the hot air is coming out of the refrigerator means what the compressor is a device which is circulating the air through the refrigeration system and creating the heat exchange right the coolant will cool down the refrigeration system and the heat absorbed by the coolant will deliver to the air which is circulated by the compressor and that heat is exhausted in the atmosphere so what we require we require that the air which we are circulating should not be heated or humid otherwise what will happen the efficiency will decrease by 1% or it will be a useless thing next point clean air inlet filters regularly now second to that if we are sucking or if we are Uh, taking the air from the atmosphere definitely due to pollution and other parameters the air will not be clean it will always um with what you can say always have pollutant and dust right so you have a filter why what is the importance of filter then it will restrict the dust particles means only clean air should circulate through the system because if you know if the dust enters the system it will damage the system and whenever the filters uh, if we are using filters we have to clean it in a specific duration okay point number next keep compressor valves in good condition by removing and inspecting them once every 6 month now valves are important because the valves uh, can uh, if the valves are exhausted definitely the leak will be there and if the leakage is there definitely the efficiency will decrease so it is important to check 
the system for any leakage and walls are quite important point number next install manometers across the filter and manometer uh, sorry monitor the pressure drop now pressure is quite important because compressor if we are saying compressor is working on suction and everything so pressure matters a lot because you require pressure to circulate the air through the system if the pressure drops definitely the air circulation will not be proper and there will be a conjunction of air in the circulating ducts and that can um, damage the system or not uh, to the extent damage the system either we can say it will the system will not work up to the mark next point consider the use of regenerative air dryers which uses the heat of compressed air to remove moisture now we know the output of compressor is heated air because the air which is going inside the refrigeration or air conditioning system it will suck the heat through the inside uh, means from the uh, inside section and that same air will get heated so you can reutilize the same heated air for um, removing the moisture from the inlet air that is possible uh, there was a experiment um, put by a science student in a science exhibition that he utilize uh, what he had done he um, put the output of compressor pipe inside a water uh, uh, inside a bucket which is filled with water means what the that person is doing that person is heating the water or boiling the water by capitalizing the heat which is coming out of the compressor the heated air coming out of the compressor means that is a reutilization means actually it is a waste means that heated air is going in the atmosphere it is of no use but you can recapitalize the same heated air to heat something that's a one part next point periodic cleaning of intercoolers must be ensured now what is intercoolers whenever we require whenever we go with a big system a single compressor is never a never a feasible solution you have to connect multiple compressors and whenever uh, air is going from one compressor to another compressor in the um, intermediate stage the air it may be possible the air can get heated so you require intercoolers to cool down the air okay point number next compressor free air delivery test this is called fad free air delivery now this is a specification which is given with the compressor this is a company defined uh parameter means if we are uh, means for example we can take if we are purchasing a bike so the company will give you the specification that this bike will give you 65 km average average of 65 km or 70 km per liter so that is a specification of company so same like that uh, fad is provided by the company and you have to check whether the fad provided by the company is same right now means after some time right so this will also helps to improve the energy conservation next if more than one compressor is feeding to a common feeder compressor must operate in such a way that now this point is what this is a, a best example of standby units standby units means what for a regular function we are capit- uh, we are utilizing the two or three compressor but in the case if the load on the system increases then there should be a additional or standby unit which will tackle that excessive load and hence the system will run quite smoothly and there will be no overload on the initial compressor okay next one the possibility of heat recovery from hot compressed air to generate hot air or water now this point uh, we had discussed that we can utilize that heated air to do another things means we can reutilize the heat for different purpose next point consideration should be given to two stage or multi stage compressor as it consumes less power for the same now single stage compressor may be possible due to overload or due to overloading condition it may get damage or it will not work to the mark so it will be better we can use two stage or multi stage 
next if pressure requirements for processes are widely different it is quite important if pressure different you have to use different types of compressor because in a compressor you are utilizing a system and definitely every system has a specification regarding how much pressure it can create and if you require two different pressure for system you have to use two separate compressor that's a common thing point next point reduce compressor delivery pressure wherever possible to save energy now this is up to us or up to the person who is utilizing the compressor so we can uh, understand whether we require high pressure or whether we require low pressure so according to that we can adjust the things last point provide extra air receivers at points of high cyclic air demand which permits operation without extra compressor capacity i think so air receivers means you can use two or three uh, extra ducts for the air suction right so it will help means additional uh, why we are addition using additional compressor because whenever we require uh, more air or we require to suck more air in that condition we can utilize or uh, we can add an extra compressor uh, or either the second option is you can increase the inlets on a single compressor so that it can suck the air from different inlets or multiple inlets and this will definitely going to conserve the energy okay so these are all the points which are related to energy conservation in compressor again the point is please firstly understand the working of compressor and then go do go through the no, sorry go through this video the point will get more clear okay. thank you